Lesson 5-6 is Fractions and Decimals Part 2. In this lesson, our objective is to provide experiences with several graphic models for renaming fractions as decimals. And we'll start by taking a look at our fraction stick. You can see there's also a number line at the bottom this time. So if we were to look at some different fractions, let's start with an easy one. Let's do half. So if we color in our fraction stick for a half, and if we follow this line down to our number line, we can see that a half is equal to 5 tenths. If we were to do 3 twelfths, so 1 twelfth, 2 twelfths, 3 twelfths, and we were to follow that line down, it lands here on our number line. If this is 2 tenths and each of these marks is worth 1 hundredth, we would have 21 hundredths, 22 hundredths, 23 hundredths, 24 hundredths, 25 hundredths is equal to 3 twelfths. Okay, let's take a look at another one that doesn't quite line up. Let's look at thirds. What if we had two thirds as our fractions? We're going to color in two thirds on our fraction stick. We're going to follow this down. Now it lands right here very close to this line. So if I come over, I know this is 65 hundredths, 66, and we're almost to 67 hundredths. So sometimes you'll have to estimate just a little bit. That's how you use a fraction stick to find equivalent decimals. Now, let's take a look here at making decimals into mixed numbers. Okay, you'll have this on your study link at the end of the lesson today. And you'll have to take um, decimals such as 7 and 79 hundredths and write it as a mixed number. So I know that this first 7 is my whole number. Because that's in the ones place. The 79 hundredths, I know by the way I say that, that I can do 79 over 100. 7 and 79 hundredths. Okay, let's take a look at this one down here. We have 4 and 7 tenths. So again, 4 is my whole number. 7 tenths as a fraction looks like this. So 4 and 7 tenths. 